Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. We love getting the chance to learn about charities in the area, and today we're learning about Hananiga Hope, and I hear we're playing a game too. Well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> me too. We have Though I game. don't know what's coming before <laughs> me, I'm looking forward to I it. I know. <laughs> Our producer Danica made a game for us, so we're going to get that to a second, or in a second. But first, Tom, tell us a little bit about yourself and Hananiga Hope. Well, I'm uh, actually a graduate of Hananiga in 1976, so everybody out there can now do the math. <laughs> and I've uh, been involved with the Hope Foundation since 2002 as a longtime teacher and coach at Hananiga for 33 years. Wow. Also. What do you coach? I coached football and track all okay. 33 years. Cool. That's awesome. That's like quite an accomplishment. Lots of kids you've probably seen go through A those lot of kids programs. have gone through, and I uh, somehow, some way, still managed to <laughs> keep in touch with a lot of them. That's so cool. So I know that the H in Hope stands for Hananiga, right? Right. Okay. What are the other letters? It stands for Hananiga Opportunities for Public Education. Okay. So what exactly does the foundation do? This foundation raises money for school projects. Um, teacher grants, and uh, scholarships for students. Which is really, really important, and kids will remember when they get these scholarships from high school. Yes, they will. And we're also used as a, as a funnel through for scholarships. So if there's an individual out there that is um, really, want, you know, someone has died in their family and there's money left there and they want to uh, donate it to Hananiga in, in memory of that individual and establish a scholarship, we are the foundation that acts as the go-through for the money on that. Uh, for example, um, one of the big events coming up for our Touch of Spring on April 4th is the ring raffle going on. It's a beautiful ring. The Gem Shop donates it every is year. Is this it? This is it right okay, in front of us. Okay, we have it right in front of us. That is a 14 karat gold, rose gold, vintage inspired ring that the Gem Shop has put together. They have done it every year. And it's done in memory of Jan Motorson, who is a, a, a village clerk at one time who just believed in the youth of Rockton. So we've established a scholarship along with the Gem Shop using the monies raised each year from the raffle of this ring. Wow, that's really a cool idea. Yes. And that's kind of the idea between or behind a lot of the things that you guys do. There's yeah. more than just raising money. Well, it, it's raising money, but going. you're doing something oh, cool yes, with yes, the idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's our, our primary goal is to, is to give back to the high school. We've been doing it since 1997. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ralph Marshall was superintendent at the time. He's a 1970 graduate of Hananiga. And he was able to get a group of alumni together that were close to him in age, in his class or right around the class mm -hmm. he graduated, and asked uh, about establishing a foundation like this. He had done it at the previous school district he was at, and uh, it's been rolling ever since. I love how it's a lot of things built into the one foundation. Like, you know it's a Hananiga Hope Foundation, but it does cover more than just one charity or one event. It's a lot of things. Oh, together. and it's, yeah, we're, we're pretty well diversified. We're, we give money across the board within the school itself. We get academically based uh, uh, grants we will we will hand out, we will distribute money to the fine arts, and we will even distribute money to athletics. We uh, we uh, funded the $25,000 display board in the new field house, oh, which wow. is it's beautiful for all, for all sporting events, and I think it's already paid back, you know, <laughs> uh, on the investment. Uh, so it's it, that's what makes this organization such a unique one. So you have the Touch of Spring event, and does that include the ring giveaway? That includes the ring giveaway. We're currently selling the ring. We're selling raffle. I mean, selling raffle tickets. We're selling those at Hananiga High School, okay. uh, the Village Hall, uh, American Legion, and at the Gem Shop. Also, uh, we will also be selling them uh, today, uh, Sunday, uh, from ten to three at the State Line Business Expo. Okay, and there's. TV land involved in this somehow. We, we decided uh, about five years ago to go to a theme. Normally it okay. was formal or business casual, and we've had themes such as a touch of the 50s, touch of Hollywood, touch of the 70s, and, and touch of country. And this year we decided to go with touch of TV land, where we're giving the, the, uh, the attendees the opportunity, if they choose, to come as their favorite TV oh, land. Fun. We've even brought it to me TV character. Okay, perfect. So that is the game we're playing. Um, so we can start looking at our game cards. I know they're going to come up on okay. the screen, too. So our producer made this. It is emojis that are supposed to give us a some the show. So this is supposed to be a show. So I see a guy, a fisherman, <laughs> a fisherman who gets pulled over by the cops with a blonde friend. I have no idea what the show is. The Beverly Hillbilly. That's my guess. What do you guess? I'm going to say Andy Griffith. Oh, you win. Andy Griffith show. One point for Tom. Okay. this I know this one. You want to guess? I'm going to say Love Boat. I'm going to say Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island. I got that it. one. Okay. You want it. I got that one. Okay. Oh, I know this one too. 
Did you get a uh, <laughs> I remember the show. Okay. Uh, uh, four elderly ladies yeah. together, and uh, <laughs> and I, it just doesn't come to mind. Well, oh, the, the Golden Girls. Yes, the show's Golden Girls. <laughs> I know one of them's Blanche and one of them's Rose. I can't think of the other two names. Um, this one looks like a guy in a radio and an ambulance in a tree. A guy in a radio and an ambulance in a tree. I'm gonna have to flip this one. Me oh, too. I never would have guessed Mash. It was Mash, even though Mash is oh, like one they of the most popular some, shows. They should right? have had something, um, uh, an emoji, uh, military yes. oriented. So. Finally, oh, I know this one. Do you know this one? I love this show. Two different actors played the husband on this show. Two different actors played the husband. Both, they both have the same first name. <laughs> Our floor director's laughing at me as yeah, I try to host a game show here. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's Bewitched. I was going to say Bewitched also. <laughs> that was one of my favorites to watch when I was younger. So if somebody wants to be a part of this a TV land themed event where you can raise money for Hananiga Hope, where we go? We go to the American Legion in Rockton. It's a beautiful facility. We have 168 tickets that we sell each year. Wonderful. We're probably down to about 20, 25 okay. tickets left for the event. It's $125 per couple. Uh, the doors open at uh, about 5.15, uh, cocktails from 5.30 to 6.30, dinner 6.30, dancing from 8 till the end, and we have, a, we have a bunch of different raffles going on throughout the night, cash giveaway raffles, plus a silent auction, and keep this in mind, that we will open the auction just about a week before oh, the okay. event. You can go to silentpro.com, our auction number is 1177, and you can begin bidding on items before oh, the event so even cool. comes about. All right, um, well, we can go there and get all that info, and I'm sure there's more at the Hananiga Hope Foundation if yes, you look online, is. right? Yes. All right, thank you so much, Tom. Well, thank you. So how is it possible to be part of an Orange Theory Fitness Challenge while you're on vacation? It's actually not that hard. Take a look. Hi. So I have spent a few days in Arizona, which is a really nice change from Rockford or Chicago or Volo, wherever you live, right? It's nice because it's warm here, but the Orange Theory Challenge is still going on, the Transformation Challenge. So we saw how I'm doing so far. I got weighed a couple weeks ago. Going on vacation is obviously a tough thing to do when you're trying to participate, but the cool thing is Orange Theory allows you to go on vacation. Throughout the eight weeks, you have to do three workouts <laughs> every, single or every single week, except you get two weeks where you get to take a break from that. So this is one of those weeks. I'm very, very lucky because my sister-in-law and my nephews are on vacation with me and you can see they're all about working out all the time. Anderson, you wanna do some push-ups? Sure. Okay, Anderson's gonna do some push-ups. So that's the key. What? My sister-in-law, Erin, and I have run every single day since we've been here. We're gonna try to go to a different Orange Theory class because that's a really cool thing too. You can go in any city, any state to an Orange Theory if you're an Orange Theory member. And then the cool thing too is on Sunday, so when we'll see this video on Good Day State Line, it's the 23rd hour workout for daylight savings time at Orange Theory. So if you call right now, you can find out how you can take a free class in addition to your regular Orange free theory. class. Should we do some jumping jacks before we go? Sure. How many? Ten? Okay, go. Ten. One, nine. Two, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two. I am very lucky to have such great workout partners. You can find Orange Theory right here in Rockford on East State Street across from Target and on Facebook. And catch up with any episodes of Good Day Stateline you might have missed right now at GoodDayStateline.com. We'll be right back.